inspired, inspired by art, 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 art. This video is going to show you how to prepare your cardstock for printing, how to cut out the cardstock with an X-Acto knife, and how to apply the cardstock onto canvas. If you wish to purchase cardstock, you can. I use manila folders, rip them in half, cut off the sides, and then take a ruler and measure them to make sure that they are less than eight and a half by 11, which is the size that will fit inside of the printer. So I will take the printer uh, tray out, remove the paper, flush the cardstock, give it a little jiggle, and insert the tray again. The tool being used for cutout is a number 11 X-Acto knife. The counterweight is preference. And as you can see, you're just going to go around on a glass table or something that you can bear down on and be able to cut all the way through so that it is a clean cut. The signpost gets four total layers, not the entire thing, but it will get four layers. That was the first and this is the second. You'll notice that the two signs to the right of the post are missing. And that's because we're going to cut right through them. We do not want them present in the second layer. Now, in the third layer, we don't want the post present. We just want the four signs to the left. And in the fourth layer, just the top sign. And we're doing that to add depth. For the footprints, same thing. There's going to be four layers. But in the foreground to create depth, we want the footprints more pronounced. For the text, we want one layer just as a guide, and the second layer will just be the letters, and they'll go down on top of the letters that you see. After you get everything cut out, you're going to trace it onto your canvas so you know where to drop it in at. Then you get your liquid acrylic medium gel. I like super heavy gloss as a preference. That's just what I like. Now, the heavier, the faster it dries, so you have to move quickly. <laughs> and I do mean quick. Apply it and then drop it down on there. Make sure that it gets flush to the canvas and there are no air bubbles underneath of your cardstock. And then after you get it on there, you're going to want to slip a little on your fingertip and then smooth over it to make sure that the seal is really good. And then you'll see in the video that I'm putting down the first layer for the footprints. And I'm kind of just grabbing, putting it down, smoothing it, grab the next one, put it down, smooth over some liquid gel, and I continue. This is a wet sponge, so you're just going to wipe all of the excessive gel off and then move to the next part of the process. It really is a repeat of the process. Once you have everything outlined and traced, you can just drop it in there. You'll put down your liquid acrylic medium gel, put your image or your pattern or your text or whatever over top of the liquid gel and smooth it down with your fingertip and that is it now take a look at the finished product after everything has been put on there for the first layer and wipe down and this stage is complete check out the next stage in the project Inspired, inspired by, 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 by,